welcome to this episode's of the sexy vegan chef tonight we're going to be doing some cauliflower spanish style pizza using trader joe's and this is going to go under the category of your 30 minute or less meal so as you see i have your cauliflower pizza crust from trader joe's it's like 3.99 i think i don't know whatever but then you're gonna open it have your pizza crust your sheet and then here's your ingredients Feel free to do whatever ingredient you want. Tonight, I'm using some soy chorizo, also from Trader Joe's. And then some Daya mozzarella cheese, fresh garlic, we have our green onion, we have cilantro, and we have some spinach. So first things first, just follow the instructions on the box of the cauliflower pizza crust. Take it out of the package put it on your cookie sheet and you're going to put it in the oven for like I think 10 to 12 minutes 450 degrees have your oven preheated and then yeah and then you're gonna build your crust but first I think you have to do it uh, both sides so you're gonna don't do anything to it just put it like this put in your cookie sheet and put it in the oven 10 to 12 minutes on 450 okay Okay, so now that our pizza crust has been cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes, we're gonna go take it out of the oven now. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes. So we cooked it on, just to recap, the pizza crust, the cauliflower pizza crust from Trader Joe's, we cooked it on four foot, 450, our preheated oven 450, flipped it both sides, 10 to 12 minutes each side, your crust should be whew, like that, nice and hot and crispy. Not too much, not too little. So now then you start to build. Some people can use marinara sauce, use whatever it is that you want. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil because that's just what I like. A little bit of olive oil, spread it around. Spoon, here we go. Ta-da. So there's the olive oil, and then I like fresh garlic. So we're gonna put some garlic on there. Make sure we get it all around. I love garlic. Put as much as the topping as that you want. Once again, this theme is the Mexican style pizza. So you can use this in place of Taco Tuesday or whenever you want. Then next we're gonna use our soy chorizo. Use as much as you want. Now, if you are trying to steer away from soy or you use soy sparingly or once a month or whatever it is, that's fine. You can also replace this with jackfruit or you can use no meat at all. You can use a seitan. You can use whatever it is you want. But I'm using for this soy chorizo pizza, I'm using the soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. Then next, I'm gonna sprinkle some spinach. I love spin so, spinach, so here we go. I'm gonna use a lot. Put as much as you want of whatever you want. You can also use bell pepper. You can use red peppers. You can use red onion. So there is spinach. We're gonna put some cilantro. Oh, it smells so good. Fresh cilantro chopped smells so good. So get it all good mixture in there. Next, add the green onion. And then once you put all your toppings on, you can cook it um, back in the oven. You place it until your cheese melts. If you don't want cheese, you can use whatever cheese you want, but if you don't use cheese at all, that's fine. Cook it until the crispiness uh, the level of crispiness is reached that you desire. So I always encourage people to get creative, have fun, have the whole family do it, let everybody have their own pizza, do a little family competition of who has the most ingredients on their pizza, blah, 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 whatever you like. And I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic on the top of mine because I like garlic. Okay. 
So once your toppings are complete on your pizza, then you're gonna take it back to the oven. Until your cheese melts. Okay, it's about that time to take the pizza out of the oven. All right, let's check, hopefully it's done. Okay, now that our pizza came out, like I said, leave the pizza in as long as you like till your toppings and your cheese or whatever you put on it melts. And then we're gonna cut into this bad boy. Oh, yes. And you can cut the slices however you like. If you're eating it by yourself, you don't even have to cut it. You can just be greedy and eat the whole thing. Or you can cut it into little slices. If you're using this as an appetizer for a party, baby shower, whatever the case may be. I have my plate right here. This is how my pizza came out. Once again, I used the cauliflower crust from Trader Joe's and I used olive oil, fresh minced garlic, and I used some green onion, soy chorizo from Trader Joe's and the Daya mozzarella cheese. And yeah, that's it. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. If you make this, take a picture, upload it to the Sexy Vegan Chef, and let me know how yours turned out. Enjoy!